Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming this summer glowy bronzy look. So if you want to see how to get this look, just keep on watching. Hey guys, so this is actually my second time filming this look. I filmed it the other day and I was going through the footage and it was extremely zoomed in and I guess I just didn't realize it. So like a lot of it you could tell what I was doing but like my intros and my outros and some parts of me actually doing the makeup you could only see like the bottom half of my face and yeah I didn't want to put that out and <laughs> I mean you know I'm trying to put out great quality and make sure that I give my all for these videos so I am actually refilming it today so this is going to be my summer bronzed glow look yeah so let's get started so I am going I've already done my brows and that was just to make this video a little bit quicker so I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brow definer pencil for my brows and I literally just like did line motions to make it seem make it appear that I have hair I'm going to start off by priming my face I'm going to be using the Nevea post shave balm um men's post shave balm and also the nyx angel veil primers for my face so the reason why i use two primers is because i feel like it makes it helps my makeup last longer maybe to others that's like whoa why are you using so many primers but if you only knew my skin type like i'm not some of those people that say they're extremely oily and they're really not I am literally extremely oily. So that's why I use two primers. So I go in first with the NYX, not NYX. I go in with the NYX Angel Veil primer and I rub that into my skin. I actually need new primers. So maybe I'll make a trip to the store. So next, I'm going to go in with the, I hate that my lid is like completely opposite of the front of the jar, but I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation, and I am using the shade 3. So I'm just going to use the bottom of a brush to put this on my face. stippling brush but then I'm going to go over it with a uh, my real techniques sponge And then for concealer, I am going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Skin in the shade Medium Neutral. And I'm not going to put too much on. I'm just going to put a little bit just to cover up the dark circles. Just because I'm not trying to really brighten up my under eye too much. I really want this to look really natural and just really glowy.
Then I'm gonna go back in with my Real Technique sponge and blend it out. And I'm going to blend it a little bit onto my lid as well, just to use it as a primer. Because I'm not going to be putting anything on my lid, I just want to make sure it doesn't look too dark. Everywhere that I put the concealer, I'm going to set underneath my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my chin, my forehead, and then I'm going to grab an eyeshadow brush and I'm going to set my eyelid just so that way I don't have it. And I'm still just going to be using my damp uh, Real Technique sponge and I'm just going to dip it in there. I do have mine in like a little container because since it's just a bottle, I don't have anywhere else to get it or any other way to get it. Then I'm just going to grab some eyelash curlers and curl my eyelashes. And you can totally leave your lashes like this if you don't want to use falsies. Um, you can even layer on more uh, mascara. And I mean, if you're going like to the pool and you're going to be wearing something lightweight like this, um, definitely just use like waterproof mascara. But I'm going to be using falsies today. So I'm going to be using the Ardell Double Up 206 Black um, Eyelashes. I really love these. I think they're really wispy. I got one on. If I get the second one on, I'm thanking the makeup gods. If I get this on in the first try, I just might cry. I totally got them on in the first try, and I just, so I want to thank the makeup gods because they allowed this to happen, and I'm just so grateful and thankful that this happened. Thank you, makeup gods. Oh. Okay, so, okay, this inner corner is bothering me just a little bit, though. We're going to fix that because mama can't have that. I go back with the mascara that I was using, the L'Oreal one, and I'm just going to use it to attach my lashes to the falsies. Then 
I'm going to use a smaller stippling brush and I'm just going to finally brush away that powder. Oh, my eyes are a little watery. Okay. Now we're gonna add some mascara to the bottom lashes. You can totally skip this step if you just want like heavy, not heavy, but if you just want your top lashes done and no bottom lashes. Rude. I thought they're watching a video and a movie. And I'm like, I'm trying to film over here, bud. Can you not? going to be using the Lorac Take Me to Tantigo palette and this one came out last summer I believe. So I'm going to be use Tan Diego and Cabo Tan Lucas. I'm going to mix the both of them. One is matte and one is shimmer. So we are going to mix those. This has a lot of, it's like really powdery. Oh. I'm going to be contouring my nose and I'm just going to use the Tan Diego shade that I used to help bronze up my face. And I'm using an angled brush by BH Cosmetics. It's the number 104. that same Real Techniques brush and go back into that Tan Diego and contour the double chin just a little bit. Next, we're going to move on to my favorite part of when I do my makeup and that is highlighting. So I am going to be using the Becca and Jaclyn Hill um, what exactly is this called? I always forget the name of it. It's the Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Collection Face Palette. So I'm going to be using that. And mine is really dirty, so excuse it. But I'm going to be using a mixture of Champagne Pop and um, Prosecco Pop. And I am just going to be using a Real Techniques brush in 200. It's those really cool ones they came out with just going to dip into both of them Then I'm going to grab this little small flat shader brush to apply a little bit of that highlight to my inner corner just so that way I'm glowing from all directions. Plus I just really love a bright inner corner.
going to line my lips with the Jordana Easy Liner Retractable Pencil in the shade Rose Crush. But I am also going to be using the NYX Butter Gloss in Madeline, and I love it so much. I'm just going to be using the Mac Fix Plus. I'm using a little travel size right now. But my big bottles over there. And if you really want to take it a step further, you can totally grab that highlight. If you're wearing, you know, an off the shoulder shirt or a halter top, anything like that, you can highlight your uh, collarbones. Like I said, this is if you want to take the step forward, please don't give me hate. I normally don't do this. And then you can always do the shoulder. And if I'm being honest, like if I'm gonna be outside and I know I'm gonna be sweating, I won't do this because that natural sweat, it'll just make me look, glo it'll just make me look glowy. So I won't have to take this extra step. But like I said, that's just if you want to, it's just that like extra glow on you. And yeah guys, so this is the finished look.